Hey guys, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and I want to show you my new place. Big news! I got a trailer, my dad purchased a trailer for me, and then I became his caregiver, so that's how I make the payments. I'm so excited. My life has just come together, and I just want to let you guys know I think about you every single day, but this move is taking a while. So I just wanted to kind of show you my setup. I'm watching some friends, getting ready, trying to pack and uh, unpack and pack at the same time. Um, over here in the window, I've set up a uh, cowhide drum uh, that I've had for quite some time. That's so precious. And then this is a family heirloom. I'm actually going to turn it on for you guys. It's so beautiful. And then it makes a noise. And I'm going to learn how to play for you guys, I'm hoping. I love that sound. Maybe I can make my own music. Oh, and then, I do wish I knew how to play guitar. So then I took an old vintage uh, headboard to a bed, and it's made of metal, and it's just, the design is so gorgeous, and I put it back there. I don't know why we can't see the design. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful it looks with everything else. Um, Mom has, this is her precious heirloom area, so I can't use that dresser. That's okay. This is a telephone chair my mom got me a long time ago, and of course a leg lamp in the window. Over a year, I should get a light on. Let me get a light on. I just want to show you guys what I'm up to. Oh. Lights, camera, action. Mom was right, it's not super bright. Yeah. All right, so over here, um, we have my lovely wardrobe. <laughs> you guys, I love wardrobes. I've got my science kit up there and some mannequin. Um, over here, I'm going to put Edward, my little boy mannequin. Uh, and then inside, because look at this beautiful... Ugh, just love my mom's furniture. Both her and I collect furniture and we just love it. Um, I still got space in here. Last night I was on like a spider mission. <laughs> killing spiders. So I've got all my books here. Kind of organized, finally. And uh, I don't know what I'll put in there. Delilah's too big. I'm going to have her out here somewhere too. And then... Uh, Got the other headboard back here, that beautiful metal design, isn't it beautiful? And then I've just got uh, this old couch, but it's leather, right? So you can really vibrate with that mm, cow spirit animal as you sit there. Now do you see that lamp over there? My uncle made that too. So we're going to do a video showing all of these. He's got about 200 different shapes and bowls and candle holders, all different types of wood. This one's so cool. It's just like a little dish for coins. It's just got a little divot. But we're going to go through all these, go through prices. This is Whitney's bowl that sold its juniper. It, I love this so much that it has a natural wood hole in there. And you guys, if you smell this, oh, it's... It, it's unexplainable, the smell of this wood. Now, this is a 12-inch bowl, and we'll be showing you all these beautiful, natural... And these just lay on a table and look like wood's growing out of it. Now, this is a candle holder as well. I just don't have the candle on there. He made this amazing lamp out of, like, a knot of wood, and the bottom's got some soft varnish on it. It needs a different lampshade, I told my mom, but, you know, it's whatever. Then here's my desk. I guess it's not very lit up. This is my desk where I type. Um, because the walls in here are curved down, I can't really hang a lot of taxidermy because they're curved like that. So I'm going to have to hang my taxidermy up there, which will be cool. I might hang some from the ceiling and suspend it if I can. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, again, I'm trying to upload videos as often as I can. I have some beautiful gifts from friends in my onion box to open. So as soon as we get to a live video, I want to open those packages. Um, two packages there. And uh, very, very excited. I found this vintage thing while I was up here. And I just love it. I've been keeping little things in there and um, just really enjoying the cards that you guys give me. They really give me energy and um, I love it. Now over here, this is an old metal thing that my dad made a long time ago 
and it's just so great for what I do because I rip apart books and then I, you know, have big piles of things. Now lately, the coolest thing I've found is a bunch of these family circuses from <laughs> family circles from the 1950s. And the pictures inside, you guys will get so many more food decks. We'll get vintage booze decks. We will get, I can't even explain to you. Like, let's take a look at the pictures in here. They're just perfect and fantastic. Some are black and white. Some are, look at that. Look at this. 1950s. Just the ads, the vibrations, the everything is just so, look at that. Um, aspic. <laughs> who doesn't, who doesn't love a good gelatin? You know what I'm saying? So you guys get down and if you want some of these vintage cards or if you just want a piece of art for your kitchen with all this vintage stuff, you let me know and we will get so, so creative because I just ran into about 10 of these and I priced them online and because if mom didn't want to give them to me for cards, I was going to buy some. She said, you can have them. Uh, Again, I have the vintage Playboys, the Edward Gorey I chopped up. Um, Stingray bit my nipple. Up here, I've got one to make a penis deck. And for the penis deck, I chose, you know, it's going to be in a recipe box just like this. So your cards will look like recipes. So the penis deck will be in this pork and beans box. And uh, it actually came with some recipe cards, which I'll just use for other art. Um, but why I'm really excited, dude. Heart, hearty and wholesome food. Yeah. <laughs> so, real excited. I get these on eBay for about 10 bucks a piece. Sometimes I can get them for 12. I have another one here. Nothing to it yet, but excited. I've got more over here. This one's for a real big deck. And I keep my decks inside of it right now. Did that not work? What happened? Yeah, put too much in it. Open for me, sugar. There we go. So I'm putting all of my decks inside of there, the ones that I use daily. And uh, but I'm gonna end up putting a real big pinup deck in there. I think this uh, box is gorgeous. So let me know. Um, I might try live tonight. This phone actually works. I mean, everything up here we try to keep antique. I wish I had an antique typewriter, but again, those are so hard to keep because of these supplies. Now I'm going to give you a quick dash. This place was full of crazy. Oh, I want to talk about this. We're going to do a video on shadow work uh, and how you can paint your shadow onto the wall and work with it. That video, I'm so excited about. My brothers are both artists. My whole family's artists. Me, my mom, my brother, my other brother, my sister-in-law. Um, the kids were all artists and my brothers when they lived up here This is just like a little mother-in-law to Peggy's house when my brothers lived up here They did this thing where they put up light and they stood in front of it and this was a big old I painted over it I just kept this the whole entire loft was shadows and it looked spooky <laughs> So anyway, this was an old man carrying a cane and my brother stood there in front of a light and my other brother traced it. And then they put over on this back wall, they put this big Indian head with his arms on both sides, like a Jim Morrison pose. And I did all this when I was like 21. I painted over the shadows, which I shouldn't have. I should have just left them. And then I put all this jarble. You know what I'm saying? Complete jarble. Then here's all the tiny things from my room. All the tiny things from my room. Um... And back over here is another desk that I get to work at. Oh, you guys, this opens up into the most beautiful desk. And my mom gifted that to me, like, as an inheritance. Oh, it's a real writing desk. And this radio that's super old works. We've got so many paper cords in here. Do you see how this desk comes out? I mean, it's amazing. Then there's more. A whole desk pulls out and it all closes up back into that little shape. Man, back in those days, they were thinking... They were thinking well, you know. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wood. Uh, keys. We have keys to it. There's our little taxes desk. And my mom works up here with me too. She believes she could, so she did. Some motivation. Um, this is a piece of art that my brother made. Not for me. He just made it. And it's kind of just been up here for a long time. And I want to talk about that for a minute. So really cool. I have no idea what I look like, you guys, so if you see me, I'm sorry. I've just been so busy. Um, the head comes off. 
and uh, he made it like this, right? And it's cool because there's no eye on this side, and then there's a clay eye here, and this is all like his weird hair, I guess. And then the stuff itself, I want to put things inside of for dream work because it's in this big pot, and the head fits on this big pot that's his body. So I've always been a fan of this. And then it's on top of this really old, awesome record player that works. Ah, I finally got my laptop working. There's no Wi-Fi here. We're kind of out in the woods. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, like, my setup. And I got the trailer. It's coming on Friday. So all the witchcraft stuff, like all the herbs, all the um, candles, everything's going to go out there. This is obviously my bed. And I'm getting my clothes put away, organized. And then... Uh, this is something my parents have had up here for a long time. It's a Jaguar lamp. It's so, so cool. Um, just has a light bulb back there. And I've just been kind of, yeah, getting to it. That's my taxidermy snack box on my gentleman's dresser. And now we're back around to the little kind of entertainment center where I'll probably put altars, okay? I'll put like, you know, Bastad, Santa Muerte, um, to have a little, my Mary and Jesus will fit in there, you know? All this different kind of stuff but y'all i'm so excited and thank you very much for especially to the patrons and the people that um comment and really take time with the channel and i just want to say thank you because it's taking me a while to do this my parents you know i'm taking care of my dad and i'm moving and i'm doing the channel so i really hope that i'm keeping up with you guys properly and if i'm not please tell me um, but yeah, so much to look forward to with the videos coming up and uh, you guys as soon as I, I mean I had a little panic attack last night because I was worried about losing patrons because I wasn't doing videos. But please understand, day before oh, yesterday I did, no, day before yesterday I did three live videos. I tried real hard. Alex will be home soon and then we'll have Wi-Fi. But love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Watch Friends, it cheers you up every single time if you dig it. <laughs> Have a beautiful day, yeah.